Hey everyone, this is Sam Patterson from Open Bazaar. I've heard a lot of talk recently about how multi-sig is not good enough for the average Bitcoin user to to use. So I wanted to show people how Open Bazaar's multi-sig worked. Um, so I'm the buyer here. I'm looking at a seller store. I click on, for example, this broken wrist watch. It tells me the shipping price and, and the total altogether. I have selected my notary already. I look at my purchases, I can see that it tells me I need to send this amount to this address, and I'll go ahead and pay that. Okay, so I've paid that, now I'm going to mark as paid. Now that sends it to the multi-sig, which we can show here. It just got sent through to the multi-sig. Now, I'm going to switch over to the view from the seller. He's going to see in his sales right here. Uh, it says buyer paid. You can view in the multi-sig to confirm. And then it asks you to put in the payment address you want. This is for the seller, their final, uh, when it comes from multi-sig, where it's going to end up. So the seller puts in their address. This is after they've shipped the product, of course, and then they request payment. Now, if you go back to uh, the buyer's point of view, back to my purchases, it's going to tell you that this has been shipped. So if you receive it, um, and everything is fulfilled according to the contract, then you're willing to release payment to merchant. So now if we go to the wallet of the seller, check their transaction history, we can see it was just released. So that's really it. That's how OpenBazaar Multisig works doesn't require really anything from the user other than sending to the multi-sig, anything from the seller other than putting in their address, and then having the buyer release the payment to merchant.